Musicians Talk Show is brought to you by Bandzoogle. Bandzoogle makes it easy to build a stunning website for your music in minutes. Choose from hundreds of mobile-friendly themes, then customize your design and content in a few clicks with Bandzoogle's easy visual editor. All the features you need for a professional website are already built in, including tools to sell your music and merch commission-free right on your website, mailing list tools to grow your fan list and send newsletters, integrations to pull in content from all your online services like Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud, and live support from their musician-friendly team seven days a week. Banzoogle plans start at just $8.29 a month and include your own free custom domain name. So go to Banzoogle.com to try it free for 30 days and be sure to use the promo code TMTS to get 15% off your first year of your subscription. Okay, before we get started, Matt and I have lots of great ideas to improve the podcast, but we can't do it without you. So if you want to help us grow, click support the show at musicianstalkshow.com and consider signing up for our Patreon. We have tons of great perks and rewards for you, such as early guest reveals, a weekly live Q&A, and access to a monthly exclusive episode only for our patrons. Sign up for our mailing list on our website to gain access to our private community on Discord. There you can communicate with Dallas and I directly about all things TMTS. You can also follow at Musicians Talk Show on Instagram to discover new episodes, vote in polls, and join the conversation. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Musicians Talk Show, episode 66. That's right. Only 600 to go? You got it. (laughs) Perfect. That is our special guest co-host today, Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi, everybody. Hey. (laughs) And I'm Dallas DeWhite. And I'm Matt Tolley. And this is the Musicians Talk Show podcast. Let's get it started. Hell yeah. Kyle, good to have you back on the show. It's been a while. Been a while, but thanks for having me back. I always have a good time. Hell yeah. Yeah. Always good talking to you. Chatting music. Always got good stuff to Hanging say. out. We talk, we have a Musicians Talk Show basically at every band practice with Cut Me and Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like anytime any, any of us get I know. It's the same. Kind of, really, dude. Yeah. Actually, that's why we- That's kind uh, of what started it. Yeah, exactly. Like, we, we should just record this and <laughs> maybe someone will like it. Yeah. And it, and it keeps <laughs> us thinking about it too. I like, I like just knowing that um, like we have to come up with content every week because it keeps us motivated to think about what we're doing all the time. I found it kind of keeps me in the loop more. Right. With like- You're uh, looking for new stuff, what's coming out, yeah. all that. Yeah. If I'm looking up, you know, news or whatever, like- I'm not usually as in the loop as I right. should be. Well, it's easy so to it's easy to, to zone out of it, you know, and get like and get away from it. You don't have to like yeah. read into stuff. So, but having the podcast kind of forces you to go find some new material, new content. Yeah. So we had a pretty crazy weekend. Yeah. And we're gonna be recapping that for a bit, and then we're going to move on into um, a different topic. Yeah. A preview, which I'm excited a preview to talk of which about. is uh, should you or should you not use. Click track yeah. slash. I, I love that life. that con- that idea. Yeah, we'll talk about. It's that something in a that's been on my mind. Yeah, so um, I think anyway, we talk about it. Let's start with uh, Friday night. Let's start with Friday night. Dude, All we right. had like a full weekend. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. An, it was a weekend for sure. <laughs> so Friday night we went and saw Appetite for Destruction. Yeah, it was Guns cool. It was a Guns N' Roses tribute band at the Fillmore. It was cool to have all all the LA Maybe guys out. Uh, yeah, we had a good crew there. It was yeah. it was you. It was, it was me. me. That's all we really need. <laughs> Did we both say that? Oh, yeah. Nice. It was the two of us. Yeah. And then it was, uh, Rasan showed up for the last three songs, which was funny. Actually, it was the last, it was the last three songs, but one of them was a guitar solo and one of them was like right. an encore break. So right, it's kind of right. like basically one song. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and then, uh, Foss was there, of course. And then Goliath, Goliath was, was there. there. Yeah. And then you had, Dan oh, yeah. There. Dan was there and, um, his cousin was in town. So they, uh, the show was, they actually paid to get in. I was going like to say, did you know anyone that paid to get in? Uh, yep, they did. Um, they could have not paid in because uh, Dan's brother had tickets on uh, the box office too. And I told him this. And I said, hey man, if he doesn't show up, you should get his tickets. And mm-hmm. he totally blanked and bought the tickets anyway. It's like, well, they're only like 10 bucks, right? Yeah. So they spent yeah. 20 bucks. You know, That's all right. Support the venue, people. I guess. Yeah. Um, I mean, let's, let's break it down let's a little bit. Let's talk about it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Um, in a word all right here's the disappointing. thing disappointing i'll say this i'll say this right off the bat that uh i know kyle's seen this band a lot i've seen this band a lot um not not a lot a lot i've probably seen them five times Kyle, i don't know what your number would be kyle do you guess what, uh, what would you guess how many times four or five, four or five. so we're, we're in the same ballpark but yeah different times so like, so run me through both you guys when's roughly when what years the first time you see him second third you know kind I of think like, like eight years ago i saw him for the first time i was like just going to shows more I was so they've been around a while i think i just started yeah, like, definitely been around a while yeah. i think for me probably like 15 years ago because i remember going to see him with aj yep. when we were yep. at the shop yep. so that's every bit of 15 years yeah. ago so then i and then i found him kind of on my own i remember going like i was like well i love guns and roses and uh there, there's cover band whatever i went had a good time i just turned 21 had some drinks and i i've loved it like i was like these guys rock like they just got a new izzy the slash was awesome 
and Axel could sing. And I was like, this is like, this is worth it right here. Yeah. Uh, and that's what hooked me on him. And then I've seen him several times over the years uh, and it just changes all the time. You know what I mean? Like they're always, they yeah. always have revolving members. Let's preface this, I guess, by saying every band has off nights. <laughs> sure. Absolutely. And every singer, like, you know, um, all that, you know. I mean, nobody's expecting anything to be perfect. But, and I don't want it to sound like we're just kind of like, you know, shitting all over them. But, no, we're just but also, break it like, down a I bit. do want to tell you what disappointed me. So sure. we're going to kind of go through that. Absolutely. Um, do you want to start with what disappointed us or what we liked? Well, let's, let's talk about what we liked okay. first, because I think that's a better way to... to yeah, let's start positive. Yeah. I, thought, I thought Izzy's costume was flawless. Point. I, I like would have, if I, if I didn't know, I would have <laughs> thought that was fucking Izzy. Early Izzy, too. Not, it didn't look <laughs> oh, yeah. like, you know, obviously this, this was like, like a young Izzy. Izzy. Izzy you know? was yeah. It was perfect. It was perfect. And he played well, and he, he sang a little bit, but the mix was, was not great, and you couldn't yeah, hear the back for him, vocals For him, all. it wasn't good, right. You could hear the lead singer really well, and like... He sounded great, but the backing vocals, it was like they weren't even on. It was the weirdest thing. Um... Also, the slash looked good. The hat was wrong. But I didn't. I didn't think slash looked that good. His hat, his hat was long, and his and when his face. And uh, I can tell you why. Why I thought the hair was too short. The hat was too short. Oh yeah. If it, it was like extended both ways, it would have looked better. Yeah. And then also he was wearing like flannel. Like yeah. Have you ever seen slash wear? Yeah, flannel? I have. I've seen him really. Wear, yeah, kind of rarely. I mean, I think it was a couple it videos. Just didn't out look. There. It didn't look like he had like. I mean, I expect kind of like you know leather jacket. You know that kind yeah, of yeah, uh, whatever. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. But There's then, lots of looks. Uh, I thought Axel looked awesome. Yeah, Axel was on I, point. again would have sworn that that was Axel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, he's been the only consistent member. Yeah, from the I think he's the driving force. His band, band, right? his band. Yeah, yeah. I so, got you. But yeah, uh, the the slash was new, and uh, I guess we can launch into what we what kind of went wrong on that that whole thing. Uh, uh, slash was terrible. Yeah, he seemed like he didn't have the parts down. So in, a, was, in a word, yeah, there was a. Uh, it was really hard to listen to those solos get fucked up and butchered. Yeah. Um, he seemed like he was doing a lot of improvising and it was kind of like he, he learned like, um, part of the solo, like the beginning yeah. of it. And then he just like, whatever at the it's end, it's like, you it. know how when people learn a speech, they kind of learn like the three or four bullet points and then right. they just fill in the gaps. That's yeah. kind of what was happening. Yeah. And it so was there like, certain uh, parts and then he would get lost. So then when he was lost and he, a uh, little bit or whatever, and, and didn't really know the song to begin with or the part to begin with, it seemed like it got worse. You know, I was like, ah, this is painful. It was only a few times where it was really painful, but he needed to, he needed more practice, more, uh, I don't know, whatever. Rehearsal. Yeah. yeah. It was like he was the sub. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It did seem like he was like they got him at the last minute or something. It, but it's, it, it wasn't ruined. I think, he, you know, the, the most of the songs were put together well. The soloing just was fell short a little bit, you know? Yeah. Another thing that was weird is, is Duff was like non-existent. Whole, yeah. Like, what was going it, on yeah, over It was there? like a guy stole Duff's guitar and uh, was playing it, it for the night. He was wearing night. like... Like dad jeans and a t-shirt. Didn't try at all. It looked like look. he just got off work and yeah, like rushed to the yep, gig. Had a beard, long beard with a uh, with frizzy hair. And he and stood I was just over like, in, the, in like stage right in the shadows. Yeah, well, I think Probably that was on. He didn't look the part. I, I think that was it. They're the like, part. listen, you're not the show. You're just here to p- cover us on bass, you know. And then they're all doing. The, they had the exact look. I don't think the drummer looked on point. I don't think he had. But long he was hair. also kind of in shadows. He sure. had long hair. Did he have long yeah. hair? Okay, that's how much in shadows he was. You didn't see him. I didn't see him. Yeah. And uh, we hung out at the back right behind the soundboard. It was a yeah. good way to listen oh, yeah. to it. Yeah, us, yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah, we. Me, we, were walked, uh, we went to the bathroom one time, which is right by the stage. Yeah. So we walked by and we were kind of looking and it, it was nice. That's cool thing about nice it somewhere. And we up. started on the other side too. So we checked it out from all sides. Yep. Although I didn't see the, the main and band over there. We, we didn't even mention that we, um, we, yeah, we saw 50 Watt Freight Chain before. Yeah, playing Metallica covers. Yeah, do they only play Metallica covers? Like you guys were there a little earlier. I looked at their website. They only play Metallica covers. Yeah, that's all they played that night. But the band itself is an original band. That's what I thought. And, so they were just doing a Metallica band, but it thing. Didn't say anything about a Metallica thing. Right. So they were just doing that for the Guns N' Roses tribute night. I guess They're filling in like doing a Metallica thing, which is they sounded cool. good. They weren't. They weren't bad at all. They, I think the Fifty Watt Train Train Freight Train sounded more like Metallica than the Guns N' Roses. I don't know. It's hard to say because the singer was good. Yeah. So I don't know. I thought he sounded a lot like Headfield. Yeah, he did. Yeah, good. Yeah. It was all good. I'd like to play with them, actually. If they're an original band and want to yeah. do a show sometime, we should yeah. get them. You know, maybe they us. They seem like older guys, right? A little bit. Yeah, they're a little older. I'm not sure what how old they are, but... Their drummer was getting it. Yeah. They sounded he was, good. He was like an animal back there. They sounded good. I want to listen to some originals. We'll, we'll, we'll have to check them out a little bit That's more. a good point. Yeah, they, I didn't hear any that night. I, I thought we were gonna. I was like, oh, I've heard of this band. I want to check them out. I definitely had heard the name. Yeah. Uh, Eddie's played with them a bunch from uh, Playroom. Okay. Yeah, with so Charity he definitely Case. Definitely does them. Yeah, he had them open for them for Charity Case. I think at a few shows. Hmm. They're a good. They're a great opener. You know. Have you seen Charity Case? I guess you have, right? Yeah. Yeah. I saw. I've, I've seen him. At, I saw him before I even knew who Eddie was. Um, like maybe five years ago uh, at a beer festival they were playing, and I was just like, all right, cool, it's heavy metal kind of rock and roll stuff. Around, right. Right. Yeah. So I I just casually saw him, and then I found out Eddie was the guitar player. And I was like, oh, okay, this is cool
No. Hmm. Yeah, I've never seen him. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna see him in the twenty second. I'm working that gig. I'm gonna play the festival, Playroom Festival. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The Playroom Festival. Yeah. They're charging tickets to that. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of weird. Well, they're trying to pay for it. They're trying to put on a big event. You know, you gotta pay. For, you gotta get paid for it somehow. And he's not yeah. loaded, so he's got some money. Yeah. But you know, I think it's okay. I think and bands, uh, you know, are expected to bring people too. That's the idea. It's like to sell tickets. Let's get let's get this thing going. Mm-hmm. We need to make it a thing. If nobody shows up to it, then it's not gonna be a second one. You know. Yeah. We yeah. gotta get some yeah. people there. Yeah, that's a good point. It's gonna cost money uh, to put this thing on, but it's gonna be fun. Bands are awesome. Kyle Prince. Prince. No. <laughs> <laughs> we were making a joke earlier that if you get Kyle going on Prince or Metallica, he doesn't stop. Right. We don't even need any other subjects. We'll just say Kyle about. Prince and you and I'll go grab lunch. We'll come back. <laughs> this one time I saw Prince. <laughs> we'll come back and he's like, and then in 1984, it's like, you're only in 1984. You've been gone an hour and a half. Let's go get some ice cream. <laughs> when did he start though, for real? What year did he start? 70s for sure. Really? Yeah, it was, was like late 70s. Yeah, though, late 70s. That, the movie is what like was his, a kind of. What was his first album? Like what year? I mean. I know the album. Uh, the one where he's start, shirtless. We're like really going to talk about Prince right now. 78 Okay. That's all I needed to know. Moving on. Yeah. Before we get too far <laughs> down the rabbit hole. Uh, any, any other notes? I wish Kyle could weigh, more, weigh in on. Yeah, he's seen him a bunch. Well, well, tell me about, tell me about like when the you've, times seen, you've him, seen him. Yeah. Yeah. Prince? No. <laughs> appetite. We're trying to, we're oh, trying to wrap that up, yeah, but yeah, I want to know because okay, so, you didn't really need to go to the show last night. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've been around, I'm thinking every bit of 15 years ago I saw him. That was the first time you saw him. How were they the first time you saw him? I thought they were great. You know, that was the selling point for you. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you know, I thought the Axel guy did a great job. Saying was that right around the time they started? You think? I think that had to be. I heard two thousand one. Was that from you? Did you say two thousand? I did not. I don't know. Somebody said. I don't know. Well, I I can believe that because I'm. I mean, I'm sure it was like two thousand three, two thousand four for sure. Relatively early on. I mean, that makes a difference. Fifteen years in someone's voice. Yeah, I feel like that makes a difference. Look at Axel. Axel has even changed. You know, everybody changes. He went from really good to not as good to back to being really good, which is confusing. Which is kind of crazy. I don't know how Axel's doing it. Like he's really coming. I mean, he has off nights like anybody. Sure, everybody will. Like I was, I was just saying, like uh, Chris Cornell, man, if you. Look at live performances of anything from Audio Slave or Soundgarden, man. Sometimes his voice didn't work. Like he's just like, especially like some of those harder songs. Like, yeah. dude, like some of those notes are so hard to hit like, and stuff um, like that. And if he's a little off, it's not gonna. He's not gonna be able to hit those notes. Say hello to heaven, dude. There's so many of them. There, Jesus Audio Christ Slave pose. Yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ pose. Yeah, Jesus Christ pose. I mean, Jesus Christ pose. <laughs> Anyways, actually, not as familiar with that song. Is that Soundgarden? When you're staring at me. It's like beautiful. guys, just beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I don't have a very good Chris Cornell voice, and I just got done singing all night last. I night. I know Chris so. Cornell has off days, but you do not. <laughs> no, dude. The uh, uh, I did karaoke on Friday night after the Appetite yeah, yeah, show, yeah. and we're uh, just walking through the whole weekend here. Tell me about that. Why you were not? Gonna, you were gonna, but you didn't. And and no, no I sent me a video. The karaoke. I did. Oh, oh we didn't sang, get video. Um, what did you sing again? Uh, Love Gun. That's because right. I knew that's it, right. and I was that's getting right. trashed, and I was like looking for some other stuff. I want to do like robot. I so wanted a video to post on Instagram. Uh, dude. Come uh, on. We were supposed to have one. Dan couldn't be patient enough to wait for my time to come, so there's no that's video. So weird though, because Dan's we, fault. He we left. Le- he was like, left, "I'm getting out of here." We left AFD and went to the Midnight Diner, which was horrible. Yeah, just a complete waste of our time. <laughs> Their food's good. I like the food there. It was not. It was not. It was great. I ordered a ham, egg, and cheese biscuit. It had no egg on it. I ordered, um, oh. I ordered, uh, yeah, three things and all in uh. the name. Couldn't get it right. And I had uh, hash browns all the way and I got hash browns totally plain with nothing. On. Oh, man. <laughs> like, I was like, all right, you're 0 for 2. This is that two sucks. things I I've, I've not had a real bad experience there. Yeah, she came over and was like, is everything okay? You know how wait- servers will do that? Yeah. I was like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I, uh, I, I'm not that guy. Like, it's, it's whatever. Sure. You don't have to make a big deal out of it. People make mistakes. Yeah. It happens. But, you know, well, and that you place mean, gets 0 for packed. 2? Come on. Yeah, I know. That place gets packed and I'm, I may be just the, the craziness of it all, but. Um, I like their food. I've, I've had good food there and stuff, but I haven't been there in a while, to be honest. I spent a little bit. Last time I was there, maybe was the time that, that was Randy's car, time. we were driving Randy's car and we totaled it. Some, some chick T-boned us. It wasn't our fault, but, um, I think that might've been the last time I was there actually just swore never to go back. Again. I didn't swear. Well, we, I didn't swear anything. I swear I need to go back. Actually. We got there and like the line, I'm sure, you know, was just completely oh, like, it's all always the way crazy. Down. It's always crazy. It's like, what? It's what? like the only diner in town. Now that Maddie's diner that used to be outside of the Fillmore. So you wouldn't even have to go anywhere. You literally we used to yeah. walk out of the film where there's a diner across the street sitting there. Now, now it's the exchange building, the Avid Exchange, yeah, yeah, yeah. parking deck, parking banking, deck, yeah. all that bullshit, whatever it is. Yeah. But it was so cool to have that diner there, dude. That was the best. And it was a, a really good diner. But dude, it only fit like Kyle, how many people? 
50 people in there. Yeah, like Less than that. Probably. Yeah, you can't even yeah, fit yeah. like, you can't even serve more than like 40 yeah. people. It's crazy. Well, I, I brought that up to say we left the show, went to Midnight Diner, ate, wait, waited, and then yeah. ate, and then came back. And Dan, I think, I'm pretty sure I saw Dan sitting outside the small bar. Yeah, he was yeah. sitting right outside on the He floor. loves it, That's sitting That's why out I there. was wondering. Yeah, um, and I was waiting at karaoke. I was mm-hmm. over there waiting. Um, it was cool. Though, Is it in that bar? No, it's at 820. Okay. Did you go over to 820 with us? No. Or did you guys, you guys left to the, yeah. Okay, so 820 is right across the street from VVGB. Yeah. And uh, that place has pizza, like mm-hmm. uh, a pizza parlor in it. And it's also a bar. And it also has a karaoke room separate, like just isolated. So it's quiet and like from was the it outside. Was pretty crowded and stuff? Oh, uh, it was very crowded that night. And which was funny was because everybody was singing hip hop and rap and like these you know r&b and songs you go up and, sing and, kiss. and i go up there and so sing fun. kiss dude it was I so really awesome love i love it though because man i swear it doesn't matter like the music it's how you fuck it's like how you interpret it like and i just right. like put a bunch of soul in it like i said right before i went up there i'm like i'm about to soul this thing up you know i really yeah. wish there would have been recording of it because i remember yeah. it went really fast i was like oh that's it it's done i'm used to having to play it and sing at the same time well, i just put all my effort into singing it and I was like, that was actually all right. And I, and I had some drinks in me. Yeah. The last, uh, and the last whiskey, the last whiskey I ordered Matt was a double. Like, that was really good. And he watches the video. Yeah. And he's like, oh, uh, I kind of wish there was. I, I could still not post it, but I kind of wish it was yeah. like there was some kind of like gauge yeah. so I could figure out if it was good or not. Um, the girl who said she uh, came, like she wanted to, I forget, I met her at the bar and she wanted to hang out and like uh, watch me play, sing karaoke. Yeah. And I was like, all right, hang out or whatever, request, right? By the way. And huh? I said, that's a weird thing to say. Like, hey, man. It was weird. Can I watch you sing karaoke? No, no we were, we, she met me and she was like, oh, you're going to sing? Okay, cool. I'm going to wait for you. Oh, okay. Because uh, the line isn't ridiculous. Like it takes like, the place was packed. So it was like an hour wait for me to, to sing. sing. Yeah. Jesus. And I only gave him a dollar. Maybe if I would have tipped him more, maybe they would bump me up the list. I think that's how yeah, that works. I gave him at least $2. But I didn't have any cash. It was Dan's dollar. And he, and he <laughs> dared me to do it and then left. He didn't even want, I'm like, dude, you suck. Like whatever. So I, and when I showed up, he was like, did you sing? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, why would I be here if I hadn't done it yet or whatever? And he goes, oh, I thought you were going to give up or something. I was like, no, I did it. And he goes, how'd it go? And I was like, I fucking killed it. That's so funny, <laughs> That was my dude. attitude at the time. I probably didn't, though. But uh, anyways, the girl... I did, just imagine you slurring that. The girl, I fucking killed it. I fucking it. killed it, bro. No, I was. I don't slur. I try not to. I try not to. <laughs> but after 12 beers, it's anybody's game. Oh, yeah. It was whiskey that night. Matt had 800 beers. Ate all the beers. <laughs> um... Yeah, so it went well. I think the girl though that uh, was she after I did karaoke, she said, "Oh, when you you're playing tomorrow night, I said, I'm gonna come out." She never came out, so she's full of shit. But um, you know, she got my number somehow. I forget how all that happened. But anyways, I've never sang karaoke, dude. You should. You should do Prince. Just go up there and do Prince without playing the guitar and like kill it, dude. All right, it, smile. I don't no, know, no, don't do your you talking. Don't to tell, you don't have to tell me to smile. I'll just smile naturally. Just make me laugh. How about just make me laugh? It just, you, you look so me. cool sitting over there. Look at this. You have your glasses on and shit. Okay. This is, this is the cool video I'm posting good. right now. Or the picture video. I'm posting. Great. It wasn't a video. <laughs> it's, a, it's a video. I love the videos where it's, um, you could tell they were trying to take a picture. Yeah. Yeah. So like the video is, yeah. Are you just ready? Silent, Are you ready? Somebody smiling yeah. and then you hear someone go, oh crap. <laughs> it always ends with, oh crap. It's like, or oh like, damn it. Like, <laughs> it's a video or that's what it is. Somehow it ends with something like that. Like posing. Yeah. I think it's so obvious now. How, I don't know how people make the mistake. It's a white button versus a red button. Yeah, I think that was a that that was purposeful a good for sure. Uh, so wrapping up the AFD conversation. Yeah. I mean, I think a couple things happened. I think there was an off night vocally. Mm-hmm. It's fine. That, that's of course sure. allowed. Sure. Yeah. And I think they had some subs. Do you what do you think? mean? They add them or they like have substitutes? Oh, substitute vocals in there. Yeah. No, substitute like this, like guitar player was subbing in bass player looked like he was subbing oh in. yeah that could be the case it could be like kind of like our change. normal guys couldn't make the gig yeah. like you know yeah that's unfortunate Can you play slash he's like i've heard of slash yeah <laughs> there's that there's that uh, other tribute night train i wonder if like they all know each other and like be like hey can we borrow your slash that is an interesting thought you know i feel like and i i kind of know this from the journey thing that the tribute world is hilariously Cut competitive. Up. Yeah, cutthroat. It's right. so stupid. You know that? It's like you realize, next... wait a minute, wait a minute. You realize you're not him, right? <laughs> right, right. You yeah. know that, right? He's a method actor. He likes to play it even when he's not on stage. Yeah. He still acts it's like, like Slash. It's like, dude, you guys are idiots. Like, this should, <laughs> we should, this should be like a big old family. Like, we, we, the only reason really? we do this is because really? we love the band. Exactly. Right? And you can make money. So if, it, if, yeah. you're, if you're sacrificing so your show, <laughs> you could potentially lose money if the show doesn't go well. So if you Slash, yep. you have to get a, some last minute guy. Might as well get somebody yeah. who's in another tribute. Who band. understands how it goes. And he'll know? take some pay that night. Swap shows. You don't have fun with it. Like, who yeah. cares? Yep. Um, that could be the next Spinal Tap movie. You know how there's the Spinal Tap and the, the Mighty Wind? 
the cover band, the tribute band, cutthroat, like we make, write a whole storyline on it. Yes. I could see that being a great movie. Yes. Sure. What if there was a festival of like six GNR tributes <laughs> and you just sat there and just watched like the same set like yeah, six dude. times? Dude. Like, done, you were just like, okay, this is. We're this, GNR from 87. <laughs> we're GNR from 92. We're GNR. I mean, that actually would be really cool. That would actually be kind of cool to see the eras of GNR. Journey's kind of doing that themselves right now. You know that, right? I don't know that. Yeah, Neil Sean brought Sean. Greg Rowley back. Or Raleigh, I've heard it said. And so both he ways. comes I've out heard of it the said by set. Greg Rowley both ways. So I don't know which way to say it. So they come out at different times of the show to. No, they just it's called Journey Through Time, and they just take you through. I think all the early albums, right? Yeah, but they, do they and switch then, members as it goes? Stuff, anything, any area. Is Arnell singing, or is it just Greg singing? I think it's just Greg singing. I don't think it's Arnell. I it's think not it's, Arnell, and I think he definitely needed a break from John Kane, so a keyboard player. Yeah, they're playing all eras, deep tracks, anything goes kind of thing, and uh, yeah, that's <laughs> he what said they're it. doing. He said, anything goes. Let that be a little bit of, uh, what is that? Foreshadowing. That Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. I like there you that. Go. <laughs> Teaser. Cool. Um, yeah, so the, well, they're doing like a journey through time. Do the, do the members stay it's called the same band? Time. I actually don't know exactly what the deal is. It's just like, I think it's just the one band. It's just the guys. But he like went back and got like mm. some of the classic guys. Cool. And, um, and they're playing like the early stuff before mm-hmm. Steve Perry joined, mm-hmm. which is really weird. It's like, um, how would you describe it, Kyle? I described it as kind of like yes, Pink Floyd yeah. kind of music. Yeah, it's yeah. a little more proggy, a little more right. rock, prog rock, a little yeah. more prog rock. Are you familiar with any of that early gene or early gene or early journey? No, the first I'm not three albums. The fourth album is where Steve Perry joined. Right, and I, that has lights and wheel in the sky. I've, and all I know I've listened to him at some point, but I'm not. It's, I'm just a Steve Perry. Like I like Journey. Like, yeah, when Steve Perry. I mean, most people do because yeah. honestly, the early stuff is cool, but like it's not. It's not as. It's good not at the all. same. It's not. Yeah, it's not as good at all. Like they, they made that they needed jump. Steve Perry. It's like it's like the Pantera thing, dude. It's the same. Like all these bands, like are all kind of like they'll be great. You know, they'll be good or whatever at, yeah. at, with with what, who they have, you and then all of a sudden kind of turn the then they'll have one member change or one like whatever. Maybe it's an album, just an inspirational album. That blow like yeah. blows them up. Like all of a sudden, it something happens. So Duff just released Tenderness. You know that, yeah, that album. Yeah, yeah. And so he's been on every podcast that I listen to yeah. doing interviews. He yeah. was on Joey Diaz's. He was on um, two others. Don't yeah. Well, he needs to get oh, on this on, podcast. He, on Burr's. he needs to get on this yeah. podcast. Dude. Working on it. That'd be cool. But um, he uh, what was I? Where was I going with that? Oh yeah, he was telling stories about the old GNR days. Yeah, he's I've seen some he of those tells stories. The story of um. I mean, we've all read it in, in all the books and whatever, but it's the uh, the story of that first show, where the, the tour, where they mm-hmm. went up to Seattle, the car broke down, they missed all the shows and barely made it to Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, one funny thing he tells, he, he said in that was, uh, to this day, he meets people that say, yeah, I was at that first show. And he said, he, he's had like 3,000 people tell him that. And he, there were three people there and he knew all of them. Right. So, so he's like, like, I know you weren't there. You weren't at that <laughs> first show, bro. <laughs> He said they Cut sounded the really, really I'm bad. A, I'm in the band. Yeah. I was there. <laughs> yeah. If you but, have to tell me you were at the show, you weren't at the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good it's like, point. dude, I I know everyone that was at the show, and it was it was like three people. <laughs> That's I hilarious. thought that was funny, but he, but I say that to say, uh, like you were saying, that when when they turn the corner, when they yeah. get that that band member, it was when uh, Tracy Guns and Rob Gardner, drummer and guitarist, dropped out. Right. They thought the tour was a waste of time. They didn't want to do it. So Duff, Izzy, and Axel were like, "Well, we need Slash." And Duff was like, "I just played with these two guys. Let's get Slash and Steven in." And yep. that was the five of them. And yep. that's you know. Yeah, and that's, he said as soon as they played the first three chords, it was like, "This is it. Yep. This is the one." Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of uh, yeah. I felt that before. If it's one with one band member, you know, mm-hmm. like the, uh, David particularly, like when yeah. he when I was like, "Oh, this makes sense. It all works." Yeah, I was like, and then it just now, grew, now it works. I get it. You know, grew, yeah, yeah. So, that's um, awesome. what else were we talking about on that? We were talking about uh, Journey Through Time, which brings us back to the Tribute Festival, which brings us back to the Tribute, which brings us back to. I think we're done with the Tribute, so let's move okay. on. Okay, Tribute, Tribute done. <laughs> that's a Tribute to the. Tribute. What did we do Saturday? Saturday was the show we've set up for that. Oh, your show. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, today's Sunday. Yeah. I was thinking I was, yeah, I was thrown off my desk. <laughs> Saturday. Your we, guys uh, show. Let's yeah, talk we, about it. We I got, got two of the, two of the guys here right now. Yeah. Two fours. Me and Kyle's, uh, Trevin Barium played at, uh, Better known as a half yeah. <laughs> to some people. Yeah. You did not, the math I'm not there. a mathematics. Yeah. You did the math there and <laughs> what's it called when you do that? You re- reduce it. Nope. Stop. Fuck. <laughs> I can't remember. It's been too long since I math. <laughs> Um, but no, so we did prep and bury him at a poor tap room. Yes. And it was, uh, it was good. I thought other than the power issues, but I thought we had a fun time and it went smoothly. So here's, here's how it came across to me. You guys are rocking so hard that the power kept going out. Right. I thought that Twice. was fucking cool. Here's, dude. here's what really happened. I pull the curtains back. The taco truck yeah. was also plugged into our power and yeah, sucking and all it, our yeah. juice. So we had a full set, sa- full <laughs> outside. System. Like seven amps. Yeah. Like yeah. Just power yeah, of course, sucking. Of course. And then the light rig. Yeah, the and light rig also a vegan bunch. taco truck, which first of all, rig, no. Yeah. 
And that light rig specifically is one of the older school light rigs, like right. uh, incandescent lights and stuff like that. With, Ooh, I with bet the, that thing was getting some heat. So on they're it hot. They're, they're pow- they run a lot of power. So that's one thing that we we're probably going to help Brian upgrade to like LEDs and get like a more yeah. simple setup that's going to run less power and he'll be able to program and do more with it. Yeah. So we'll he was probably doing pretty good. I can tell. Oh, it's it's. Cool he was setup. wearing a Pantera shirt, so I knew he was kind of into the music, but he. He knew like enough to like hit certain things that you guys yes. were doing that I thought was cool. Yeah, yeah. we've given sometimes him songs. early. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we've the lights him... would inexplicably like go off for like like half of a song, and it was yeah, just like I think dark. That was I was the, like, what's going on? I think <laughs> that was the power situation. He was having trouble. Like he was showing me before we even went on stage. Mm-hmm. He was showing me that like, look, dude, look how they're blinking and they're not like wanting to stay on or whatever. And I was like, oh, that sucks. But then it stopped doing it just randomly, and yeah. he was like, I guess we're good. But then when we did it, I think it happened again. So, so you guys lost power twice. Yeah. And it turns out the taco truck was plugged in. We were supposed to play two thirty minutes from outside. Yeah, that's that's what. It, was, wait, a, a thing was coming inside. There's a conduit that comes down from the oh, inside that we were plugged into, and there's one that that's coming out of the same conduit going down the, the outside. outside of the building, and then the taco truck plugged into that one. So it was all in the same breaker. So we're running a taco truck, an antique light setup, two, three tube amp. No, no, Craig's is not a tube amp anymore. We blew that one up. Yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> the Galleon Kruger. I see a pattern here. You yeah, guys. yeah, we're blowing shit up left and right, dude. We're all about destruction. Um, and uh, what else did we have? We had uh, the PA the pa- system, the PA PA system, system and yeah. then we had uh, the monitor PA system. So it's another power amp. So two power amps, uh, one for the monitors, one for the... Uh, it's insane. Yeah, yeah we played we a lot didn't, of power. We didn't have an issue, but also there was no taco truck or lights. Exactly. There was a lot less going on. I mean, like, I feel like we just but pushed twice it. twice it, it pushed happened. It. Yeah, I and mean, it's awkward. First time it happened, it took 10 minutes to get that fucking breaker back on. Yeah, I walked over there. They weren't even worried. She was, I was like, hey, I don't know if you noticed the power is out. I don't know if you noticed the ear splitting metal music stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just standing around, awkward silence. I don't know if you want to do anything about this. Like, you want me to go back there? I'll take They care didn't of understand it. the they concept didn't... of house music either. They kept leaving that on through your set, which dis- didn't matter because it was quiet and you couldn't hear it at all. Yeah. But as soon as you were done, yeah, you'd be like, music. thank you. Yeah, and then yeah. you'd hear like, <laughs> Prince like, come like on very different music like. <laughs> dude uh the, they don't understand house music or set the concept of sound either because they told mm-hmm. me that they would provide sound and when i got there like two weeks early i went to check it all out and see what they, they had. really said that because i think in our i email, have an email i think in our email it said they do not i'll show you the email it maybe they that. misunderstood like what, what that meant i think so because like yeah there's speakers like I, playing music i said what you right, mean? Like, first thing thought. i said to him when i got there like two weeks earlier i i went there and i go hey so i want to check out the sound system what you That's got really that? smart you did that because if you didn't you would have gotten there without me yeah it would have been, been like, late it would have been last like, minute some kind of rescue mission i guess i'm screaming yeah <laughs> so uh but anyways uh she walks me over to where the uh the speakers that are on the ceiling there's just yeah. a few little small speakers oh, for no. house music oh no and she there's a cable coming down just with a left and a right and she goes yeah right here you should plug into these and i'm like that's not sound. That's that's your house music. Like you can run that's that. Where you just go. Oh, okay. You don't know anything. <laughs> that's what exactly what I thought. I was like, yeah, that's not gonna work. So you're gonna want to update that email to everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna want to tell all the other bands you told you provide sound. Yeah, yeah. Do not provide she sound. said she would love to have us back. They need to do a lot of modifications to their building. They need insulation on the wall. They need if they're running live shows there, they need a way to dampen the sound because they have no insulation in the, the roof tall ceilings mm-hmm. and bouncing off of uh tap Con- concrete walls, floor right co- concrete and a brick floors wall and brick walls and then the, and then the taps are stainless so you got a lot of reflection coming off you know like stainless yeah. sheet metal they're, i think the place looks amazing oh it's a great Very place cool. they're just yeah. they're just getting started you know and they, they moved from Asheville. it used to be in Asheville. oh i bet uh, it did well in Asheville. um it um well they moved to charlotte so i don't know how well it did but Good point yeah um they uh it's a cool idea they need to just revamp a little bit put some acoustic foam in there i'm not i'm not sure i agree i uh, because i think they should just not try to do live music i think they're well i think they're, they're biting they're, off more than they can chew with but that think about how much quieter it would be you know what it's like to play in the like the playroom it's got acoustic foam everywhere yeah, yeah. and that's like, it great. would seem a lot quieter but in there. they're gonna ruin the aesthetic by putting up weird foam and sound you can make it look decorative but i know what you mean yeah it's gonna take it's gonna it's, change it's, the way it looks the place that that place needs hipsters to come in there and drink craft beer for and then, 10 hours. And the acoustic shows. And to do that, it needs acoustic chill music shows. and brick yeah. walls. And like, yeah, acoustic shows would be great. It needs to keep, it needs to not, not. Small PA. All right, guys. Yeah. Into, uh, like XNA a- on the loud band talk. Yeah. Maybe we want to go back and play again. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, no, but yeah. yeah, we're going to have to do something differently because it's too loud definitely. in there. You guys should do an acoustic show. That'd be sick. We could do that. We could do it. Actually, we and Kyle have talked about it. We want to do a bunch of Guns N' Roses acoustic songs that we like. Plus, we'll turn some of our songs into acoustics. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah dude, you're fun. Yep. We've uh, we'd had one lined up one night, and some asshole jipped us out of it. An acoustic show? Yeah. For you guys? Yep. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be awesome. Man, but is he, that a tear? We got fucked up. No. Is that a tear coming oh, down your I'm crying. You're crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crying laughing. 
No, we're good now. It's a long time ago, but we'll but do I think, that again. Like we'll I said, like I said last week, I think I think Poor really has their heart in the right place. Yeah, I just think it's not the right idea. They for them. they weren't ready. They were they don't have. If a they want to do an original music video, they need to step outside a poor tap room and do something yeah. real. You're not going to be able to make that work unless you do like an acoustic thing. You yeah. can put up a little stage. Yeah, get a little PA. Yeah, and like three hundred bucks. Like yeah, just get it and start hiring. You know, because apparently their music budget is like 300 bucks anyway, which yep. is a perfect for an acoustic act. Yep. It's it's a joke for a band. Yep. So, yep, that's perfect. I mean, I think that's what they're, they're probably just a little, going a little strong on the music. Um, They booked all hard rock bands. You know, they booked, well, yeah. Ellie, maybe I wouldn't say you guys are hard rock. I mean, what do you guys definitely call Definitely loud. What do you guys, oh, definitely you're a rock yeah. band. You're a fucking rock band. I know <laughs> loud that. rock. Just a rock band. So we'll say rock band. I always just say, yeah, we're, just we're on the We're on the heavier side, so we're even fucking yeah. louder. You're, you're, double you're what I would call kit. rock slash metal. Right, right. We're definitely on the hard rock edge of metal. Um, Then they have American Theory playing next week. They're kind of like the proggy... They they play the Sir amp and the Sir guitar. I remember the kid yeah, plays that. Yeah. So he's got a nice combo, awesome. small combo. Like they they are awesome, dude. They are a great band. He was a um, cool I think they might they might be okay because they have a nice small little. If they're not super loud, I think rig. Be good, I think yeah. they're gonna be good. The drummer is gonna have trouble. He's gonna have to back off and really give the room some air because yeah. I think that's the problem. Is the drummers get carried away, especially they all play in ears. Remember that? Uh, do you remember talking to him about that? Were you there with me? With the phone thing? Yeah. yeah. The Bluetooth yeah. and the ear. Uh, that's what they do, right? Bluetooth? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That is really weird. Because I've listened to Bluetooth uh, like music with Bluetooth headphones, and I always found that the quality actually they weren't was lost. They weren't doing a mix of the music, though. They just had a metronome on their phone. So it's just a click they're listening to. Yeah. So they all, all know what, they all know how to play to a click, and they just play that. So that's, yeah. that makes sense. Because then you just have to listen to a it click. It was kind of an not. interesting way, because he had Bluetooth uh, like in ears on it. And I was like, I've never him. seen that. And what you is can that? see them. I, I don't really like the uh, visual aesthetic of that. Yeah. Because you can see those Bluetooth headphones a lot more. That's why you got to grow your hair out. Well, yeah. They point. don't have long yeah. hair to cover it up. So I wore earplugs at your guys' show. Did you? I, I actually. We've, that, been, yeah. we've been playing out and going out so much lately that I was like, I need to yeah, start putting shit in. Feeling like, like you're punishing them too much. Like, yeah. Dude, you should have been at the band at Skylark. So fucking unnecessarily loud, dude. Really? The drummer was hitting so hard. And the guitar player is just screaming his head off and playing the fastest music you've ever like Slayer, but like more hardcore. Really, it was so crazy. And what it was, was the band la- they were the last band more 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 obituary or something like that. More, oh, we were. Uh, more, Rassam was just talking about. What's it called? I don't know. But Rassam was just talking about. But yeah, they just we can look it up. But um, they uh they were good. I just thought it was like it was over the top. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this. I've seen some over the top fucking bands. Like I love that David chose to uh, just like just drum solo in the, in <laughs> wasn't the power that great? break. Was like, I was like, that's, that's pretty smart. <laughs> Foz made the joke was like, uh, he, David was just like, oh, fuck it. I'll just practice. <laughs> he was just like, dude, well, good, when, when we dude, practice, good. we, sometimes we go outside, get some air, take a break or whatever, take a yeah. breather. He stays in there. Just keeps practicing. Never he never quits. He doesn't quit. It sounds like someone who doesn't own a drum kit. And he, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what, <laughs> he lives in North Carolina. He has this is one my one chance to yeah. play for the week. Yeah. Let's get it out. So he, ha- he uh, has a kit in Jersey uh, that he hasn't transported yeah. down because we have a kit here and stuff. And he, in his apartment, he can't play drums. So it's kind of pointless. But he yeah. lives so far away that, he yeah, he doesn't have a pad or something he stays up to chops on or just. I don't know what he does, man. He probably just drums on his steering wheel. He drums on right. everything. He's Does always he sticking he's up with him all the time. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's one of those guys for sure. He's yeah. into it. But I love cool. that because it's, you know. It's weird that you meet someone so into something and so like advanced to something, but it's like not really like their life path. You well, know what he, I mean? he wants to be in ra- a race car driver. Yeah. And that's, that's something he's really passionate about. But that's, he's only at the start of that journey. You know, right, it's like, right. he's amazing at it. He's unbelievably fast and learning so quickly. But you know, it's he's starting over, kind of like in the very beginning of that. that but career. someone like David, you can quickly see, and like, he's oh, he's just like that. Like, yeah. I could give him a basketball, and exactly. he'd be just as good exactly. at that. He's very quick like, on the uptake. He's very quick just on the uptake. Like, it's just that it's something in his head. It's not mm-hmm. drums or racing. Wicked it's just smart. how he is. You know? Wicked smart and fast. Like he just thinks fast. He's got a lot of stuff going on in his head. Yeah. I love that. It's probably an element of like ADHD in there too. <laughs> Could be, man. I think a lot of greats have ADHD, it, yeah. dude. Because you Cause just always even like Joe Rogan says he has like, ADHD, yeah. dude. Yeah. He always oh, says sure, like dude. I definitely yeah. have. Yeah. So it's just something. It's like an obsession thing, but it's good because it keeps you working. It's and exhausting though. It is exhausting. It is exhausting. Sometimes you can't sleep. Yeah. There's a lot of issues. That's what that I was telling. Actually, actually, a nice segue because that's what I was saying after the show. Got home and was just laying in bed till like three. Mind couldn't going. think of anything but ways to like uh pros and cons for yeah, dude. Trick, click uh, tricks, tracks, and clicks. Yeah, live. so that's our main discussion for the day. We should get into it. Yeah, um, but the show was great. The show was great. I, I let's wrap I, it up. I had a blast. Yeah, me too. Sure. Da- Dallas, you fucking you killed so it on the sound, yeah. dude. Nah, loved I it, didn't. dude. No, dude, I'm serious. A lot I of hard work. We, yeah, we appreciate it for dude, sure. If uh, if we would have been like last minute, like asking you for the P- like to uh, bring your PA, dude, that would have would have been screwed, dude. I'm so yeah. glad that we figured it all out. Yeah, that was good on your part. 
worked out. And Foz came and helped fun. out too with the mics, and that was yeah. Cool. Foz just wanted to drink beer, so he just yeah. came, he just came so along. I don't blame him. I love it. I love it. Foz is always good, a good place time. to drink beer. He said he yeah. uh, he said he had like four beers, and it was like thirty eight bucks. <laughs> oh no, that's kind of steep. So yeah, when you're paying for those high gravity, he was ones, like, yeah, know. that's a that's a good business model they have. There. Yeah, yeah, and they don't have to pay any bartenders. They yeah, that's pay, smart. Pay a couple people that just give out hand like uh, name tags or whatever the whatever they call the necklaces. Yeah, badges. Yep. Yeah. So it's like awesome. less less work for them. All they have to do is change kegs. I imagine, you know, do they go out. You I mean, probably keep that place running with like two people. There's 118 you know I mean? taps there, something like that, right? Something like that. Yeah, I forget what it is. It's some crazy number. Yeah. It's an unbelievably amount yeah. of beers. It's wine, a really cool seltzers. place. I don't drink at all, and I thought it was a really yeah, cool yeah. place. Oh, it's a nice. I nice think it's a really aesthetic. good idea. Yeah, just the rock band might be too much for that room. Unless they need they, like a. They need to treat it like a coffee shop. I yeah. think if they wanted to really like. Yep. Bring in if you want to like say like we have live music, come enjoy the beer. Exactly. It's, it's for that yeah. the type of person that wants to enjoy that kind of experience is yep. not the type of person that enjoys metal. Yep. Just That's blasting it. That's what it comes off. down to right there. Yep. They're gonna enjoy the chill guy in the back. That's like oh this is like John Mayer, you know exactly. that kind of stuff. Like we did get some cool. So reactions. they can still talk to their friend and, and hear what they're saying. Yeah. <laughs> we did get some cool reactions of some people that I didn't recognize. So I don't yeah. know. If that one guy we, in particular. He yeah. came out with his hands yeah. up. He came like, out, stood right in front of me. He made sure that he made eye contact with everybody in the band. I remember he David pointed at him he said because yeah. we talked about it later i was like yeah he, he looked right at me i didn't really know what to do or whatever but uh but i just like said i yeah, just man. froze <laughs> yeah so no i was just like i don't know what you want me to do dude. I'm, I'm in the middle of doing this song right now yeah. you know like yeah. he was like looking at me want want me to do something yeah. and i'm like busy <laughs> but, but like, hey, man, super, do you have a dollar <laughs> i gave him the nod i gave him the nod you know and, and david gave him the point apparently kyle did you make i don't even think i ever even saw him to be uh, okay well you. kyle was fucking head banging his head off so the footage is cool we're gonna put some of that on instagram yeah i want to got some. some great uh footage and Foz got some um carol carol ann uh live streamed it so that was cool oh cool yeah uh she got the power out and everything <laughs> but she did cut it out obviously she didn't uh, leave it sitting there while we were no power but yeah oh Anyways. that kind of would have been cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah here's what we talked about when the power was out yeah what happened oh they rocked so hard they fucking shut the place down <laughs> yeah it was dude it was fun so you guys rock so hard you turn the power off we rock so hard we made everyone leave <laughs> yeah well dude and that's good nights yeah dude. good nights crazy that that's uh that that's part of it i guess you know Fucking wrong venue, wrong time, whatever. I don't know. It matters. We learn. Uh, milestones coming up. We're playing the milestone. You guys what's, have something coming what's in. What's right? the date? July sixth. And that'll That's be a, like that'll really be a real venue. So, but are you are you and and you and whoever else going to hang out with us on the July fourth? Yeah, I think we're good, yeah. man. Yeah. Are you coming, Kyle? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was yes. leaving it open open to some amazing opportunity just in case. Can you sing I'm "Man in, in the Box"? "Man in the Box" by Chains. You don't. You're not the biggest Alice in Chains fan. Nah, though, I don't think I'd be the one you'd want to do that. You I mean, have, I could probably you have, do. You it. could if you sang. Alice in Chains, I feel like you would sound a lot like Lane. Mm. I could probably do it. I mean, it's just never it's been just my... The, it's um, just the one note. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. one note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just holds it forever, and then it occurs like seven times throughout the song. So yeah, it's just yeah, like yeah, pretty, yeah. By the end, you're just like burned out. Yeah. You know, I could I could probably um, do it. Um, I'm trying let's to pick find, a different song. Well, you they, they've list? already picked the set list. Oh, uh, okay. But if you well, wanted that's to hop the one, If that's the one, I'll do it, dude. But if there's a better option for me, I'd maybe... I'll have to get with them. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, I pulled up the date here. I, I t- thought it'd take me forever to find it, but it's uh, July 18th. Okay. That's when we're, it's a Thursday. What, wait, what, is, what is July 18th? That's when we're you're, playing Oh, that's when you're at the milestone. Yeah. Oh, Skylark. Skylark. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. With, uh, what's the band? Lovely World. Yeah. They're the band we did, you guys may remember, uh, we did the um, TV pilot thing we were talking about that we yeah. didn't say too much about. Yep. Well, they were another band that was involved in that. Yeah. That's cool. So it was, uh, it's cool. So you guys are going to play a show with them because you guys made good friends with them and stuff's cool. Yeah. Yeah. We hit it off and they're, they're all really cool dudes. Excellent. And I like their music a lot. Yeah. I I listened to it earlier before we we started podcasting. It sounds good. They're cool. I think they're a little bit younger than us as a, as a group. Okay. But cool. 22 ish. Cool. Well, more friends to play shows with, you know, I want to get out there and put more shows on. Like like, they're in like the Clemson Greenville kind of area. So yeah. Cool. All right. So let's talk about the the subject we got on deck today. The main subject on deck yeah so you guys normally play like the la maybe gigs in ears with tracks the, ver- the variety to, band the variety band right for that's like the high paying gig stuff and it's not high paying but it's, it's paying it's paying it's the better paying i guess and then originals or whatever yeah. right so here you guys play and you guys are excellent at that like it works out amazing it ends up working out which uh, which is surprises the hell out of me every time because i feel like everything's gonna fall to shit every, it, it, every show it, seems and it like never it does could. it seems like it could <laughs> it, but it, it hasn't done it once really uh one once at Valentine. okay the computer just turned off it happened oh. to be right as we finished raspberry beret you remember i do remember and yeah. we were gonna play purple rain and then take a break 
but it cut off at the end of Raspberry Beret, and Foss was like, I don't know what's happening. So I was like, we'll be right back. Yeah, take a break <laughs> right then. The break That's then. a good, so, good audible there. Uh, and it was it was about time to take the break anyway, so that was actually kind of lucky. So it turns out the charger just fell out because we had to stretch it really far oh, just because of how it was just, set up, yeah. so it just died. Okay. But, um, but um, so the, the difference, though, you've just kind of really uh, gotten yourself used to, uh, or not used to, but like a parent. They've become a parent, right? The difference is of the two because you guys played uh poor before well, the week before we did last right. week and right. without in ears and you also played another show right. without in ears the show before that the, the beer same day the yeah uh, benford brewery yeah let's yeah. clarify though you can be in ears and not play to click and tracks right that's what gnr yes. themselves yes do. yes you, in ears just is a different way to monitor yeah so you're, that's, not, you're just hearing the sound through if your you are running headphones. backing tracks Nine times out of ten, that means you have to be on a click track so yeah. they're synced up. Right. And if you're running a click track, that means you have to have in ear monitors. Right. Because you can't have a click coming out of a wedge. That's, right. You know, everyone will hear it. Everybody so, will hear it. Uh, so when you when we talk backing tracks and clicks, for now let's just say clicks or okay. say tracks. Sorry, that okay, just covers tracks. the whole thing. Yes. That implies that in ear monitors are involved, but yeah. you can be on in ears. It's kind of like the square and rectangle thing. Like a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not right. a square. Yeah, that it kind is, of thing. It is. Like you can you can have in ears and not use tracks, but you cannot use tracks without any right exactly so um because you have to run to a click so um so what does that lead us to we, you've well, changed maybe we talk a little bit about like what you would use tracks for right like so i can just tell you guys what we use is we do like uh, in our variety band we do a lot of like bruno mars um right you guys Justin do a, Timberlake, a giant variety like, stuff like that and for variety. stuff like that like the guitar is usually kind of a secondary element I'm usually playing like a little funk pattern right. higher up on the neck. And yeah. there's a lot of keys and pads and backing vocals and synths and all sorts of stuff going on. And we can't cover all that live. So we just get backing tracks to do all the stuff sure. that we can't yeah. do. And then we play along to it. Yeah. So that's the idea of tracks. That's why you use tracks to make a song sound full, even without the. Basically, uh, the, the gist members. is you would use a backing track for anything you can't cover yourself. Exactly. Live. Exactly. Members you can't have on stage. You guys are a four piece and yeah. you guys sound like the full. If we were Bruno Mars with seven people yeah. on stage, yeah. we'd probably pull it off. But. Exactly. And it uh it does sound, it sounds great, but you played a click to it, but uh and yeah. you played to a click yeah uh with the original stuff too, right? Um, or no click. We see we haven't really played any of your monitors. No the, click. The, one, the two original shows we played, we have not done click or cues. Okay, or that's or what anything, I thought. Because so. there's not there's not much tracks in the back of it, right? You guys are pretty yeah, much straightforward really. rock. Yeah. There's Only some other there's some mind. other riffs and stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. But, the um, one the one thing we also do we take it a step further and we do cues. Right. Which is where you'll hear verse two. Right. Three, Reminders of head. the changes and stuff. So now not only are we locked to a grid, we're locked to a specific grid. Right. For a certain amount of beats. Right. <laughs> so and I have it so it cuts off on the last bar of the song. So to right. go in, two, three, four, and the click stops. Right. So then you don't have just a click running in your ears. Exactly. And you don't have to manually stop it. Right. It's um, perfect. And it works great. Um, it's perfect for the variety band. <clears throat> Wouldn't change a thing because you got so much to cover. There's so much things you could have. Like all songs are going to have these different elements that what are you going to have 20 instruments on stage because you know, like yeah. you can't do it. So. Well, mostly because then you're splitting the money 20 ways. That's the biggest well, reason I'm, we started I'm not even saying it, yeah. that. Even if you switch what instrument you're playing, then oh, like running around. Yeah, yeah. You're just changing all kinds of stuff. So yeah. Yeah. You know, and the Kemper helps you out with tons of that too. You're able to cover so That's another many thing I can do with, with being on a click that is nice. I can make, I can automatically make my Kemper change patches. Yep. So I don't have to be anywhere. I don't have to have a pedal, nothing. Yeah. So through I have MIDI, it there just in case stuff goes wrong. Yeah. So through MIDI, the, when the click gets mm -hmm. to a certain point, the Kemper switches tones for him automatically. So Kyle, when we normally like go to the floor and switch our amps on stage, right. he can have it. If they're playing to a click and to a backing track, he can and have I've, it change all automatically. It, yeah. He has to program it, obviously. But it just automatically will go. How like, easy is it to program? Would you say it's super easy? I'll yeah. show you how I do it. It's cool. super easy. Cool. Yeah. Then and that's um, the way. But to what's go. what's really cool about that is it lets you do things that you couldn't really do as a human because right. now you have a computer doing it. So right. what I can do is like uh, change multiple example, things at once. Kind of. In yeah. an example for the Journey tribute, there was one song where he would play a little lick and or play like the riff, like chugging an A chord, let's mm -hmm. say, and then he'd go up and hit a quick harmonic, like doo -doo -doo, and right. then go back down. I would switch to the lead channel just for that. Doo -doo -doo, and back to the rhythm right to do that with your foot like it's, it's almost so impossible because you can't yeah. move fast yeah. enough yeah i run into that too I, so like, it'll be like rhythm rhythm lead rhythm rhythm like, right. and it's just for the notes and it, it's perfectly on time with the cue and it makes it kind of jump out a little yeah more. but you can't do that with your with your own feet yeah i could do that i can do that exact same with the uh es8 actually i can yeah. i think i can midi program it to change yeah. channels automatically but then we'd have to play to a click which mean everybody would have to be in ears right that's yeah it's, it's so funny so it's it, it it just, i love this so when you're talking like 
Okay, so I want to make my thing go automatic. All right, right. let's do that. Yeah. Okay, well, Sounds to do like that, now idea. we have to go to a click. Okay, yeah. well, how do we do that? Okay, to do now that, we all have to go to anyways. Right. Like, yeah, now it's kind of exactly. like, all right, let's not do that. Exactly. <laughs> right. So now it's like, now is it worth that? So. Yeah, this took this took us back like 10 steps, and now yeah. it's like, right, oh, So we just okay. go ahead and play it instead? Yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. hey, how about I just step on this pedal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we already have that. So. There's some stuff that's tough, but, you know, like, there's guitarists that have been making that work forever, like like yeah. different like pedal chains. You see people Slash who has a guy that does down. it for him, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of people who do that. They, he never uh, he never has anything on exactly. stage. He has a lot of people who do that. Uh, is it called the Pedalboard Monkey? For some reason, that comes into my head. That but, seems super derogatory, but I love yeah. it. That's uh, okay. I think it's the way they talk. <laughs> this is my pedalboard monkey. I think it's monkey. the way they talk. <laughs> hey, man, I'm, I'm a human being. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> no, dude, I think the... Uh, I know Dime had a guy uh, that was back there running his pedalboard. He had right. a wah pedal out front, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's a guy running... I think it's because wah is so... Um, like expressive. Emotive, it's yeah. It's connected uh, yeah, to you. Exactly. You, know, you want to express it. Exactly. It's like, I wouldn't want to give that to someone. It's not just, you know? yeah, rock it back and forth for... Yeah, yeah, just hit it on beat. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Like. It's something you definitely want to work on, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so let me, so the other night I was laying awake thinking of reasons not to use tracks. Okay. So you got a big list or what? It's like 20 things. Well, all right, let's go through them. So, uh, and they range from like technical things to just, you know, let's just go through them. Cool. More flexibility live. Meaning okay. if I look back at the drummer and say, keep going. Right. We can do that. Right. Now. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to take like a solo a for another round. You know, it's like a Nashville approach. They have a lot of audible. I know you can't do it with clicks at all. They're locked in. Well, you can. Uh, it's a much more advanced though. Like worship teams. You have do to it a lot. ignore something. They run, your, they your run like um, a worship team will run each section of a song mm -hmm. to click and cue. So like intro. Oh, verse, and then they'll have and a, it'll it'll loop until they hit next. Oh. So if they get to the solo section and they just want to stay, they just don't hit next and nice. they'll just keep looping. They're still on click pads. All the tracks are going. Everything's well, see, there's good. There's something that I never knew that, that that'd be a more a more flexible style of definitely ears. more flexible. Um, so that's uh, one way to solve uh, this. Now, tracks. one thing I wanted to talk about was like pros and cons of each one of these things. Yeah, because it's it, there's no right or wrong answer. Right. Uh, so like and a lot of times if you have a problem with X, you could solve it with, you know, why? Right, right. So there are, there are different, definitely uh, many ways you could skin a cat to be morbid. <laughs> Less technical problems. Yeah. Uh, your computer can't die if you're not using it. Exactly. Like <laughs> so, you already, you, that, was the, that was the problem you guys had at one show. The only problem you've had thus far is that computer died. Yeah. And honestly, and it's, it's just one more element. It's when you're using all that wrong. kind of stuff, and it's a lot of stuff I have yeah. to bring to make that work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have an interface that runs two different, three different cables into yep. the board and yep. then goes USB with a long USB extender. What happens when that goes back yeah. to the computer that sits with Foz at the drums? So like, what if the board can only be, you know, the closest it can be is like 50 feet away or something like right. now we're in trouble. Right. <laughs> right. And it, there's just more things that can go wrong. You, the more like, that's like a lot of people believe in simplicity for that reason. Like yes. you just keep it simple. So that way there's, you know, less to go wrong. And um, Murphy's Law, and can go wrong, will go wrong. Yeah. So you, you and the Navy more Seals have a motto that says uh, everything sucks, no, uh, nothing works, and everything's broken. There you no, go. Nothing works, and everything sucks. Something like that. Something like that. I get that. It's yeah. just kind of like if you operate from that as your starting point, then you can really only go up. You can, yeah, you're <laughs> going to exceed your expectations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, w this is a personal one. Way less stress on me to produce. Sure. Because I'm the one making all the tracks. Sure. So, so the reason I added that one was because I'm the band is having to learn songs. Everybody's having, you're having to learn songs. Yep. I'm having to learn songs. Yeah. Kyle's having to learn songs. Let's imagine we're in a band. Yeah. And um, I'm also on top of having to nail all my parts and learn all that stuff, produce the tracks yeah. for everybody. Yeah. You're spending some time. And if I show up it. and it's the tracks easy. aren't done, yeah. practice is basically useless. Yeah, exactly. So, so everybody's like, relying on you. You make sure yeah. you get it done. And then if somebody shows and up. I have and, to put in twice the time though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. That kind of ties into this next one. It's basically the same thing. Here's one that I love. Capture the essence of live rock and roll. There's that. There's an element of the rawness and no, uh, the no time rock and roll band was like, let's play the tracks. Like that's no. so not rock and it's, roll. It's <laughs> not, it's not the general thinking when you're put on a big show, it becomes a more like something yeah. that you're, uh, that's going to help maybe, or you can yeah. lean on. Yeah. You sink but the lights and the pyro and yeah, you got to yeah. know what's exactly, where and when exactly. and how. And the way to and solve being that. a consistent time, a set time, you know. The way to solve that is to get a really good lighting director or pr production right. manager or something like Who's that. Who's on it all the time. But that's not available to us. us little band so right, a lot sure. of the ways we can solve we that, got brian put everything on a click track mm -hmm. yeah and now i can automate yeah. the lights to do everything i want without having to have anyone there yeah so exactly exactly we save money you know but uh, but the bigger bands it's like well we want to have a big stage production but we want to capture the live essence rock and roll okay well, we'll just hire all the right people right because we can't we have an unlimited when you, budget when you get so. to that level yeah but absolutely i agree that the raw rock and roll feel is something you uh like when we saw the band uh at skylark man that band was like a raw rock yeah. and roll like yeah. they were metal hardcore kind of stuff but they were uh very raw like you could tell that they were just giving it everything they had so aggressive you know yeah. it was crazy 
That's the, that's the appeal about that. Here's something I've noticed with bands like specifically Greta Van Fleet and Dirty Honey. The trend in the rock genre is shifting away from tracks to being more raw and organic right. live. Right. So we would see, we used to see bands like, I don't know, Shine Down or something where you'd have a really polished live performance. Yeah. And we've, we've as a culture kind of done that now and we're looking for the next thing and it seems to be going back to dirty four guys in an amp you know just just rock and connect roll, nothing it. else you yeah know? you can connect with it man and uh you know as a musician I, f- I feel like i connect with that show you know what i mean i, I res- respect and love a big show too like you know what i mean like i love it all uh yeah it's crazy how i can like you can you can love it all but like what do you do then you know like yeah. what does your band do mm-hmm. and then it's kind of shit what's best for us i guess you know kyle what do you think like from bear i'm going to tracks i i mean i'm, I'm someday potentially we could try it right but- Right. I'm pretty comfortable where and we're these are all right the now. cons by the way let's talk yeah. about some pros at the end yeah, we're yeah. kind of sprinkling them in yeah yeah but um that's why i'm trying to keep it like so it's like yeah. a little bit of both but uh what so go, go with the next one there you here's go. a big one it's one word pride oh uh, yeah that's kind of cool to Having know that you're the one doing all everything music. you're hearing is coming from my hands matt's hands yeah. kyle's hands yeah, yeah we're doing this yeah we're not hiding it feels anything, good that know? does feel good you know you hear you hear uh you, we saw it when we interviewed joel and you yeah. said, are you guys playing to click? And he, he didn't really have a facial expression. And then you said, and then you said tracks, are you yeah. guys playing to click or using tracks? And his face fucking, he got on fire. He's like, no, 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 dude, no track. Like he, he acted like he fucking, he's an old school rocker. He's an old school rocker. And we talked to him about, uh, in ears too that time too. Yeah. Yeah. And they're running those for sure. Yeah. He was adamant that they do not use tracks because to him and to a lot of people, it seems like cheating Yeah, because it, it's not, and it may or may not be, I don't know. You can use tracks to cheat or you can use them. In what I would consider to be like an appropriate way, right? Yeah, it's an efficient. It's, efficient. It just depends. Time, yeah. place, venue. You definitely band, can crowd. use them to cheat. Yeah, I could sure. track all the guitar solos and pretend to play. Sure, like the but I, that's, that's not that's cheating. That's, that's, that's cheating. cheating for sure. <laughs> that's the difference. I think we could all agree. That's the difference. Mocking, like pretending you're doing something yeah. and having it come through the thing is, is one thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, having tracks behind you to fill up the fill, the, the rest of it. Totally different. Totally thing. different. Yeah, thing. The, but the, the Prince tribute guy. Right? Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Exactly. Good parts. We know. Good point. He was not playing. But at what? But at what point do you draw the line to say? It's cheating. Okay, now it doesn't matter because we're just trying to put on a show. If you're a tribute you know? band, maybe that, that's yeah. where I think maybe he gets a free pass because he's a tribute band because he looks get like a guy, Prince, sings yeah. like Prince, but I don't you, really play guitar, so let's yeah. just figure that part exactly. out. Exactly. You know? So, how do you get a guy that was as awesome as Prince and you're just going to like, oh, yeah, we got the nook? Yeah, there's is. a reason there's only one, one of them. Exactly. I mean, it's like, here's, yeah. here's the other one. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, if this guy dies, we'll get another one tomorrow. So, there's, there's really no right answer as far as like, I think most people agree tracking your lead vocal which most people would just call lip syncing, right. is inappropriate. Yeah, yes. <laughs> absolutely. And there's like a fine line. I think that's where the track things get. But uh, the problem is lip syncing is everybody knows about it in society. Your mom, of your dad, yeah. that dude walking down the street yeah. right now, they all know what that is. Tom used to they always don't say understand. Millie Vanilli. He would yeah, always exactly. use that as well, his they're like, the big one. Yeah. They pull that Millie Vanilli. Yeah, but they don't, they don't understand the differences to like tracking the, the rhythm guitars. Yeah. So if they hear tracks, they assume fake. Right. Because they don't, no, I think, yeah, because it's not their job to know. Why yeah. would they? Know? So I think it's a misconception, actually. But but it is. I you know, there is a pride in playing, having all yeah. the music come from your hands. Everybody and you hear it from people this. like Joel slash Duff and all them say it all the time. Yep. They harp on it like we don't play any tracks, right. like everything like, yeah. and they say it over and over again. Yeah. So there's clearly so they like, do. They do have two keyboard players. In yeah. The right. Right. So they. Yeah. It does, we don't play the tracks. She plays the tracks. Right. Right. <laughs> right. It, it almost uh, lines up with the way auto tune. People talk about auto tune. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like some people take pride in saying like this track has or this uh, album has no auto tune. Yeah. It's like it, well, it's, and a certain album comes to mind where yeah. someone was like, <laughs> "We don't use any auto tune," and I'm sitting here we thinking know. like, "Well, yeah, the vocals are out of tune. We so, can tell. Like, yeah, we can the tell. Vocals don't sound good. <laughs> you should have used it. Totally. Totally." <laughs> Uh, here's the next one. Less can go wrong during the show. It, it's similar to the less technical problems. Yeah. But this to me is, is a different one because it's more musical. Yeah. Like, um, if a track, like if somehow you get off and like, you know, some horns are coming in, right. but now you're off. So right. the horns are coming in the They're wrong off, spot. Right. You know? Yeah, absolutely. There's def- that's why it feels like it's so on the rails all the time. Like when you're are on the edge, you know, like when you're playing, and dude, it's clicks, super anything, stressful, dude. Yeah. Anything like you get off time or miss a, miss a change, miss something. And all of a sudden you're like, ah, oh, shit, what oh, the horns are coming in. Shit, wrong. Uh, we've been really Whatever lucky is, so know? far and, and stuff has gone right. No, you guys but like there's at least 10 to 15% of my focus 
is focusing on like this can all go wrong yes. at any yes. second and when it does we're in some trouble yeah because we can't play these songs without these tracks sure sure and so that's another thing i don't like is it becomes a crutch right and so like we can't play a lot the of the computer, songs in our variety if band without those the tracks computer on the way to the, the gig yeah like you guys are fucked right if the hard drive crashes right if the data gets erased there's, enough, I have there's a bunch of things that could happen yeah if the interface breaks like we don't have duplicates for a lot of this right, stuff right. like if something backups. breaks like we're at, we're out Shows of out <laughs> like, what do you do then you what what would you do in that situation while we're here thinking about it what Jam about voodoo child well i was gonna say what about <laughs> add some put the originals in because you guys know you can do those mm -hmm. uh and then we would, add we, some there's, covers there's that you could a bunch do. we could do Boo fighters i know you could do that yeah, one without sure. the clicks yeah. so uh, all the gnr tracks. stuff but like uh and we could even probably do some of the other stuff but it's you could like, make a show work but it would be a scramble it would be, scramble, be some change and it would not be yeah. as good as normal for yeah. sure what's next um I feel like there's potential. I'll just say this. I feel like there's always that potential anyways. I feel that even without playing to, to tracks too, because if I fuck up and, and potentially throw off Kyle, cause he's like, fuck, I changed too early or whatever. Right. And Kyle's now the next one. It's so funny. Let me so read just, it. Okay. Read it. If something goes wrong mid song and it will, right. We can play it off much smoother. Right. Wait, so you can play it off, but I feel like there's always that potential to throw things off. Like if I yeah. fuck up and do a change right. and then Kyle picks up and he's like, Oh, Matt changed early. I'm going to go with him. And then David doesn't change. Right. It David's get, like, we got to stay to the song. Yeah. yeah, it can get lost. Now, one right. good thing about tracks is that won't happen theoretically because you have cues. That's what I'm saying. So, so if, if you're there's, going, it'll always line you back up on, yeah, on yeah, clicking track. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying yeah, is it's a somewhat beneficial there because it kind of keeps you straight. But it's super nice because you're you're coming out of the solo and you're like, what riff was next? Bridge. Yeah. Two. Got it. Got Three, it. four, yeah. and bridge. You got four, you know? yeah, four clicks yeah, to figure exactly. it out. It's tough on the faster tempos because it's like bridge, two, three, four. Right, right. So, yeah, if something goes wrong mid song, like, um, your amp turns off. Right. Just yours. It right. breaks. Or the bass right. amp busts. You know, the other four guys can keep jamming. Yep. It, it's happened all the time with sure. GNR. Axel would just disappear. Sure. And they would yeah. look around like, where the fuck's Axel? Whatever. Yeah. Let's solo for 10 minutes. Like, <laughs> yeah. And the, so, like, it's way easier to play it off. Where if you're on a click track and, and you're on those cues and you're bolted down to that arrangement, yeah. if something goes wrong, you're plowing ahead. Those backing vocals are still coming in. Yeah. Like, yeah it's, and uh, you're sitting there looking around and now everyone's looking at you like, these guys are phonies. Yeah, like, exactly. It, it tends to look I'm hearing a lot way. of singing. No one's on mic. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, you know? that's what the problem is. You don't want anybody to have that feeling that they're being fooled or deceived, you know? That's that's the real feeling that makes people feel bad about seeing lip syncing. Mm -hmm. They feel deceived. They feel like they're oh you're trying to pull one over. I thought on they us. were good. Yeah, no, exactly. you're trying to pull one over on us. You know, yeah, they're not that good. It's right. like well, and maybe even if we they are, are good, you know? yeah, exactly. and they're not singing right now. Yeah. like it's like why aren't you singing right now? Then if you're so good, like it's kind of like there's this expectation to perform always, you know, yep. and to be good. Here's a personal one. I'm personally tired of being chained to clicks, cues, tracks, sure. and IEMs sure. and reminders. Like I, I feel like I feel very like bolted down. Yeah. Like, okay, I have to play this same thing the same way every single time and I can't do anything and I'm movement. fucking a robot at this right. point. Why are we doing this? Right. Like, Not just play the jukebox. Like, <laughs> it's yeah. the same thing. It's kind of, but man, people really do love the show part of it. I know you probably get burnt out on it because you're putting it on every night, you know, like yeah. that, that happens. Definitely, uh, you know, a little bit of burnout sets in and the freedom to not be bolted down to the track will help, I think, yeah, with that, mm -hmm. with that little bit of boredom or a little bit of uh, monotony. Yeah, for Some sure. Monotony, maybe. Yeah, you know, uh, somebody you know jumps out into the crowd. Sure. Does something like you just loop the part you're playing. Right, right. Comes right. back, you bust I back like in. I like that loop you know? idea. Actually, that's a pretty good idea to have your tracks on like a loop mm -hmm. if you're going to use tracks. Yeah. Our uh, music, we don't have to worry about uh, it. But. More complicated to set that up. It works really well for worship music. Right. It's usually pretty slow. Yeah, and it has a a, a good uh i don't know what you call it uh structure like yeah it's a it's a yeah i don't know how that but you can do like what jammy structure. to jump back to that you can go like um a lot of times in a worship setting the the thing will change like you might go to a bridge and the pastor might come up and pray during the bridge or something right so you're and then after the bridge you were supposed to go to the ending but now it really feels like we should go back to the chorus right and so somebody will make the call. chorus and it goes chorus too and the band knows let's go that's to the chorus, cool and everybody just does something they've never done before perfectly that's cool you know? So it's it's really powerful in that way. Yeah. Um, less in your monitors, which means less batteries failing. Yeah. Which means another that? thing can go wrong. We've had batteries die every single show. Hey, what about the, the very first song we played as a band? It was Treasure at Sylvia Theater, and okay. everything went to shit. Do you yeah, remember that? I remember the Foz had happened? no. I don't remember exactly what happened. We didn't have click, is what happened. Jimmy was running sound that night, and I was I was helping out, and then uh, I just wasn't hundred percent sure what Jimmy was doing all the time. So for me, it was hard to figure out what, was, what the problem was. Um, since then I, I've pretty much done the, all the sound stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know, know about the sound, I know but I'm talking like now. treasure. We played the well, song. Well, no, I'm just talking the in-ear stuff. I'm not sure yeah. why his in-ear, Foz's oh, in-ears yeah. weren't working that first song. Uh, I don't know if they weren't working, but yeah, none no, of us had click. No click. That's yeah, what it was. It was like, well, how do we play a song? Now we're it? playing to a backing track and we can't hear a click. So yeah. we're like, 
And in the verses of that song, and it came there's back nothing in. in it. When you guys came back in, you were pretty on time. We were close. It was yeah. not bad. We were trying really hard, but yeah. like, but it That's was impossible like to, the to verses in that in. song have nothing in them. So you're just right. sitting there with nothing. Yeah, and then all and of a sudden the more chorus comes in. in. Like, you're just like, <laughs> so what? it's all off a memory of of tempo. Yeah. You know, like what you guys remember the tempo being, and and you know, but I can't believe it went that smoothly. Uh, as far as like the, how that catastrophic failure. Yeah, but it was I just mean, basically the, yeah. the click track. Trick, tr- yeah, click, click track was muted. The track click. Yeah. Track, we, um, click, we've track, had, I mean, but to go back to the batteries thing, we've had batteries die. We have, we use a lot of batteries. We have batteries for the wireless mic. Yep. Batteries for all the in-ear packs. In-ear packs. Like, and then, the, uh, what else do you guys have? Um, wireless, uh, guitar, <laughs> wireless guitar. Oh yeah, that's pack. a good point. Yeah. yeah. All of these wireless things have not been working lately either, which makes me really happy. Ugh. Um, here's the next one. No chance of us putting our foot in our mouth via a false cue or getting off track or something obviously tracked happening, i.e., Millie Vanilli wrote it right there. Right, right. <laughs> there you go. That's so funny. Tom used to always say that all They're the, the famous lip sync. Yeah, they are. I, I, know, I didn't even know about them or what happened or whatever. The thing, only person I remember hearing a lip sync story was, I think, Jessica Simpson or Britney Spears. One well, of the see, other. a lot of those singers will use it, but oh, what yeah. they do is like, uh, they'll track the lead vocal for like the last chorus. Right. So then she can kind of sing around it. Right. And, you know, and like, play I around and do the big example, stuff like, or yeah. like Christina Aguilera exactly. could yeah. do stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no visible MacBook by the drum kit. Sure, sure. Less equipment on stage, the cleaner look. Anytime as a musician, this this is this is for real. And I know because I can reflect on how I feel. If I go and see someone's got like a MacBook, my first thought is tracks. My second thought is okay, they're all right. Yeah, like they're not as good. You got to be a good musician. Have, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, <laughs> you got to be a good musician to be able to play the clicks. I yeah. mean, that's not a given. I think uh, Avenged Sevenfold in the very beginning didn't know how to play their click. They went to record their second album, and then uh, Mud Rock was like. Uh, so you guys can play to a trick, uh, click. I mean, play to a trick, play to a click, and he go and they go, uh, no. And uh, he goes, well, you're gonna learn how to play to a click or whatever. And or I'm not recording you. And he goes, all right, well, we'll learn how to play to a click. And Jimmy was the one I think was didn't want to play to the click, the, yeah. the drummer. So it was, you know, it's understandable because the drummers, the, the yeah, <laughs> yeah, one take. The drummers had to take a lot of pride in not playing to a click. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I get it, but also you should be able to. Yeah, no, it's not. It shouldn't be. <laughs> it a, should be your it sh- choice. It shouldn't be um, uh, something that you can't do. Like, yeah. why not be able to do it? Like, yeah um it's david tr- david was choice. not uh super adept with uh playing to clicks and when we recorded prep and barium he learned how to play to a click and he's a natural so he really picked it up quickly but um so that was something it's like for recording is almost necessary nowadays like if you're not recording drums to a click like you don't know what you're gonna get like your, your recording could end up sloppy you know what i mean oh, like it's, sure. it's the easiest and what way makes it hard it, it might sound cool but what makes it really hard is the editing process yes if you go back later and you're like all right let's punch this drum line in or let's add a shaker or it's let's, gonna have uh, to be that time whatever edit it was this vocal yeah, it's kind of like no i have way. no idea where anything's no. supposed to be yeah, like. it's, it's impossible <laughs> to try and cut in that kind of stuff you're doing full live takes if you're if you're doing that yeah uh, but what I was saying about no visible MacBook is I feel like if you're a rock and roll band, like having a computer sitting next to you is kind of like, yeah. dude, like just Doesn't play necessarily rock. Fit what the are look. you doing? Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a good one. Much more efficient streamlined setup for like festival gigs or original gigs where setup time is extremely limited. Yeah. Yep. We have a super involved setup. Yeah. That I wish works. if we play an original gig, like we need to literally roll in with amps and yep. start playing. Yeah. Like we can't be. Yeah. You'll be, and picky. you'll be expect to get off stage quickly yeah. too. Cause the next band will be yeah. coming We up. can't be going like, uh, I can't hear the track. Like, nah, dude, no. start playing. Yeah. <laughs> like, yep. We're not messing with that. Yep. Um, and then and then less dead right. space between tracks waiting on songs to get cued. Yep. Right now, Foz cues all of them, and we stop the song, and he looks around and makes sure everyone's ready. So seconds are ticking. And then and then, and more then when seconds. we start it, it, the way it starts every time is it goes, uh, if we play Welcome to the Jungle, it'll go, Welcome to the, you'll hear in your ears, yeah. Welcome to the Jungle. Right. And then you'll hear, right. start, two, so three, you're probably, four, you're and then like I start 10 playing. 10 seconds all together, maybe. So like there's between. like, and yeah, so we're just sitting around, like, like we hear stuff in our ears, and we know it's coming, but the yeah. crowd's just like, what is going on? Like, it's not as bad as, you, I think you, know? you probably perceive that a little harsher. Some than of most. them are pretty bad, though. Maybe some of them, but, but it's, see, it's like every click, band takes a little time in between. Like, it's, yeah. it's a guarantee. Like for sure, not take a little bit, let the applause or whatever exactly, die down. Exactly, sure. But then, like, you know. We got to start. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's hard to do because you have a 10 second, second already yeah. that's going to handicap yeah, you. So exactly. then whatever else takes time. So you really got to. We got to gonna add to we that. Gotta get better about hitting the tracks like right as yeah. soon as it's over. You yeah. know, uh, that was pretty much the last one. Cool. Yeah. I and mean, then that's a, that's a pretty awesome list right there because uh, weighing the options, it might be changed venue to venue. You know what I mean? This gig requires this. This gig requires that. You know what I mean? And like, like you were saying, being able to play to a click gives you that option. So yeah. you should learn how and to do it at least. It's definitely worth saying this too. Pl- being able to play to a click as yourself and being able to play to a click as a band yes. are two totally yes. different things. Playing to a click by yourself is, is good for practicing your, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it'd be, your muscle memory of, of moving to a specific yeah. beat and you're playing a, a scale or whatever you're playing, right? And you're actually training yourself to play in time. Like you're playing, you're, you know, 
And then when you play as a band, I mean, the drummer could just be the only person playing to a click. Essentially, if you wanted to, that's one way to do it, right? Yeah. Drummer could have a click in his ears and everybody's just playing to the drummer. That's one way to do it. It's hard because the drummer has to cue the click. Like if nobody else can hear the click, he's got to do the one to count in one, two on the click. And if he misses that or comes in with one, two, three, if he misses that first yep. one, then we're waiting for that fourth one where he's yeah. starting. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that, that happens. Like it's a tough thing. And that's even sketchier. I feel like more room for mistakes. Like when one person's got the click and essentially what you do in that situation is maybe you ditch the click, maybe, you know what I mean? And just play or rip out your ears or something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I don't know if you fuck it up too bad, then you have to just, the worst, I've definitely told this story before. The worst that ever happened was we were in the Journey <laughs> I Tribute. I love this story. Yeah, yeah, we were in the Journey Tribute band. It's worth telling like every 15 <laughs> Dude, it's episodes perfect, or so. perfect. <laughs> and like the house music was, was playing. And uh, I, what song was it? Do you remember? I don't remember what you said. It was, it was like Kansas or some crazy Steve like. Steve Miller band. Steve Miller Something band. like that. It was something like, just like totally different. Oh, no, it was, uh, it was Marshall Tucker band. Can't Mar- you see? Yeah. <laughs> that was the song. So they're listening so, to Can't You See in their ears while they're trying to play Journey. To a like click that, track. Yeah, to a click. <laughs> like, and so we're literally trying to play the song and like we hear start, two, three, and like the music is still like, like you're listening to your iPod. Like, <laughs> can't you see in your ears? And we're just like, like so we tried to be so i held hard. it together for the intro and then That'd i had to be, everyone had yeah. to pull them out and we had to just That'd go be the hardest thing ever trying it to listen hard. to another now, we song didn't and use, play something we else. didn't use tracks in that band we just used clicks yeah so it was easier like to just if you tear your ears out and you're just ditching the click right, right. nothing else is gonna come in and mess right, you right, right. up so how long did it take him to get that uh fixed for you guys i forgot we it was through the whole song the, the whole front of house song. guy had no idea yeah. he was just sitting there like nice job like <laughs> intro, <laughs> intro was a little weird you guys sound a little off like yeah when you pulled the ears out you're good yeah, so then then David, the keyboard player and, and band leader, at the end, I had, as soon as the song ended, I had leaned over to Jimmy and, and I and quietly said, there, the house, I said very clearly, like, the house music's still in our ears, you have to tell them to turn off the house music right now. Yeah. I said that. Yeah. Jimmy start, takes off running. Yeah. Because, yeah, obviously, <laughs> fucking realized- David didn't know I had it taken care of. He, we're in a quiet place. Like, yeah. ever, the applause had died down. You could have heard someone just talking, not yeah. in the microphone. Yeah, yeah. David starts screaming at the top of his lungs, There's music in my ears. Because yeah, he's got There's it in his ears. There's music in my ears. He just screamed. <laughs> Everyone's looking at him like, Is he fucking like <laughs> is dying? He, like, is he autistic? Was, <laughs> is he music having a stroke? Like, what is, yeah, uh, you're playing hilarious. music. Like, no, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, but when you have those in ears, and like David played last night with the in ears, and he like was having trouble mm-hmm. like communicating. You even warned him about yeah, it. You're yeah. like, David, just so you no, we know he's got those plugs and you're not going to hear anybody else talking to you. They carry sound. Yeah. So if someone's talking to you, you, you can't they hear isolate. them unless you pull one They out. isolate, yeah. yeah. Which you want them to do that. Yeah, which is the idea. You don't want to hear the outside noise. You want to hear yeah. just what's in your ears. Yeah, but uh, people underestimate how much it is. As yeah. soon as you put them in, if you're standing, sitting right where you are three feet from me, yeah. I can't really hear what you're saying I, unless I'm I, trying. Yeah, really hard, and it's, you know? a nece- it's very necessary for that to be the case because uh, I've used regular iPhone headphones yeah. and they don't work. They're not no, isolated no, 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 enough. No. You'll hear too much outside noise. All you hear is symbols and now you can't hear anything that's actually in the headphone. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's an interesting thing how that works. Mm-hmm. So, so you got to get used to if you're using in ears to talk in a microphone to somebody. Exactly. Which you can't do if the mics are live. Exactly. So, so that was not the best about. setup, but it was good for him to be able to hear his kick. It really helped because he was able to keep his volume down. Mm-hmm. So it worked out. Thank you for letting him borrow your in ears. Yeah, I thought it sounded really good. Yeah, he liked it too. He, uh, we might go in ears more often. Yeah, you for can him, always you can always the go uh, you can always go in ears without having to do clicks tracks and yep. that other stuff. Like yeah, we, we have to mic up the cab like at least one guitar so he knows what to go off of. Yep. You know, and then uh, he could have uh, his, his whatever he wants supplemented in there. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. You can mic everything and then he could just do whatever he wants. Yeah. And you he don't have to put awesome. any of it in the front of the house if you don't want. Right. But you have the option to like I had yours, your guitar ready to roll. So like it was fine when it was on zero. But then when you took a solo, I'd bump it I, up. I and thought that's what you did because yeah. that's what it sounded like. Yeah. And it worked perfectly. Yeah. That was awesome. Because you guys were blended really nice when you were playing rhythms. So right. You weren't and like then, overpowering everybody. Right. But then for the solo, you needed a kick. And just so. a little kick. Yeah. And I, I've been uh, not using my solo solo channel because I use the wah a lot. Um, and I, I just like doing it because it's fun. But when I, <laughs> to go to like we were talking about before, you have to hit the solo button, then go to the wah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. click it on. Yeah. And so that's time it takes to get there. And I've, I've been just clicking on the wah and just going with that. So even the rhythm channel. Having you yeah, uh, give me again. the boost helped a lot. So, yeah. Yeah. Closing thoughts. I don't know. That was good, though. That was a good idea to talk about that because that's something I think about a lot, but never really. Uh, and a lot of people don't know about it. Like we get a lot of questions actually about clicks and in ear monitoring. Yeah. So I think that's oh, that good... guy I helped set up in ears a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. He messaged us back and said he got them all set up. Awesome. Cool. So that was cool. That's good. Good to hear. 
But that's just it's like options. I definitely don't claim to be a pro, but I can tell you what I know. But you've what I've done learned. it. You've done it, and you've experimented. You've got through more than some people have never tried it. You know, yeah. and, and they're just like, well, I'm so bewildered. Well, I know. I, I was remember, starting. Yeah. I was like, what do I do? I, I, mean, I was the same <laughs> way, dude. I looked up all this information yeah. online. Like, all right, so what are we listen? What are they listening yeah. to in there? Yeah. And it's How different. Does this work? What do I plug and it it's into? It's different for like, everybody. That's the thing you know? too. Is it's different for everybody? So you hear it from somebody or whatever. You have to kind of know what the person's doing. Like, yeah. all right, what are you in? Are you in a rock band? You might only want this. You are, what are you in? You're, you know, what are you yeah, doing? If you're a rock band, you might only want vocals. Right. Like you might not want right. much. Exactly. Yeah. So I think cool. that's what Colton does when they run in ears and Osara. Oh, okay, he that's good to know. Basically, monitoring his vocals so he knows he's in tune. I know Lale and um, Alex, uh, the bass player and the guitarist, they share the same mix. Actually, I think Evan, the drummer, does too. Okay. I think they're all literally on the same mix, so it's okay. just a nice balance mix. Colton nice. gets his own, and he just has basically a more me button, so he can just turn up his yeah. vocal. Colton is of Osara. Yeah. By the way, in case yeah. you guys don't remember, we yeah. talk about him a lot. Mm-hmm. Cool. Excellent. Uh, I want to call it Kyle? up. Close it up here. Uh, fun, fun hanging out with you guys. Good weekend. <laughs> yeah. Nice listening to you talk. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Yeah. We had some stuff yeah, to man. talk about. This is right. fun. I love doing these. Yeah, let's go grab some food. All right, man. I'm, I'm hot. Here. All right. <laughs> See you guys right. later. See you. See you.